Hi, my name is Fieldy and I'm an urban surf and skate artist. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you my tips and tricks for using Molotov one for all paint markers and refill inks and I'm going to be working on canvas. First thing I need to do is give myself an all over quick background. For this I'm going to use some Molotov premium spray paint. The next thing I want to do is I just want to finish off my background with a very subtle palm effect. Um, to do that I'm going to use this fake palm as a stencil with a slightly darker colour of turquoise. So I've drawn up my design here. Before I get started painting, I just wanted to have a quick word about the products I'm using. I'm using Molotov's One For All inks. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating for this first part how you can use them with brushes, but of course they also come in markers as well, which I'll show you some tips and techniques for later. Um, these things are super versatile and you can use them to cover heaps of different surfaces from surfboards, skateboards and walls. Uh, let's get started. So I'm just squirting the inks out onto my homemade wet palette and all of that is is just a sheet of baking paper on a plastic lid with a little bit of water underneath. My main subject is a woman with some crazy three colour lighting effects. So I'll start off with the turquoise first and lay down a base of that and then add in the green and orange shades working really quickly so I can blend the colours before they dry. I'm gradually deepening the shadows as I go so I can start giving the piece some definition and some depth. So my lady's finished and I'm really happy with that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the tiki torches. Uh, to do that I'm actually going to use an empty marker and show you how to fill that and create custom colours. Unscrew the lid and then take out the valve system. Um, you want to pour in your inks and I'm using light brown and cream. And then I've screwed on the silver extender. Um, and this is so I can easily take the lid off later and add more ink. After you've done that, put the valve back on top and then screw on the lid. Give your marker a really good shake and before you use it, you need to prime it. So just put it on a piece of paper or something like that and pump the marker a few times until you see the paint come down to the tip. So I'm ready to start putting in my shadows for this. I'm going to actually open up the marker again and just add a few drops of black to it. Um, and you'll see this is where the extenders come in so handy because they make it much easier to open the marker and add more ink without having to pull out the valve every time. So I'm going to open up the marker again to add in a little bit more black to deepen some shadows. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to change the tip over to a brush tip. Uh, these are awesome for doing really fine lines like with a paintbrush. All you do is just pull the round tip out and push the brush one in. Just don't forget to prime it like we did before.
pretty much finished. The last thing I'd suggest you do is just give it a quick clear coat and for that I'm going to be using the Belton Molotov Gloss um, and the reason I'm going to do that is just to protect the artwork and it's really going to make the colours pop. So before you clear coat, remember to shake your can really well, so for about a minute or so, and then when you're actually spraying, don't get in too close. You want to stay about 15 centimetres away from the artwork and spray in nice broad strokes from side to side. And it's finished. Um, I hope you like the tutorial. If you've got any questions, please ask them below.